This is the fourth Photoshop tutorial in the photo repair assessment. In this one, we're going to use the spot healing tool and what you already know from the clone tool to repair this image. So in this image, if you look in the background, you'll see these two circular sprinkler heads. All right, we want to we want to get rid of those sprinkler heads. And then, of course, we have this torn patch in the photo that we want to be able to repair as well. All right, so for the torn patch in the photo, I'm going to have you use the clone tool the same way you did in the previous tutorials. So I'm not going to show that because you already know how to use the clone tool. All right, you're going to use either the alt key or the option key if you're on the Mac um, to select a sample area. And then after you have your sample selected, you're going to move your mouse and start painting to clone that sample. So that's that's nothing new. We've done that in two previous tutorials already. So what's new in this one is we're going to go to our spot healing brush. Now the spot healing brush allows us to basically kind of use the, the content that's around our, our, um, our selection or our brush to fill in the blanks. So we don't necessarily have to sample because it's going to sample from around that area for us. So all we do is click and click and it gets rid of it. Now you'll notice because my brush size was fairly large, it ended up sampling a little bit of this uh, concrete uh, sculpture. So I'm going to undo that. And in this case, I'm going to use my um, bracket key. All right, the, the left bracket, which is just to the right of the P key. Make my brush just a little bit smaller. All right. And now you'll notice by using a smaller brush, it's sampled from a smaller area. So now on, on this one, again, go ahead, use the clone and stamp tool to fill this in so there's no more ripped edge. And so it just looks like a continuation of the grass. When you're done with that one, go ahead and place it into your documentation.